minutes. I'm going to take some more of your calls now. We'll also take calls while the guests are on with us. I appreciate everybody holding. We're going to go to Abe in Ohio, listening on WAIS 770 AM. Then we're going to go to TJ in Georgia, listening on WJOC 1490. And sorry I'm getting mad earlier. I'm not mad at my crew. I'm not mad at anybody. This is just a real show with a real person. And I get in here and read all this news, and I just get angry. You know, you got Forbes saying, burn down our houses. And you got them killing everybody's kids, feeding them this garbage food with heavy metals in it. And you got Forbes making jokes about it. I tell you, Forbes lately is like the devil or something, man. I'm seeing the worst, most, they must have hired, I never, I used to see good stuff out of Forbes. It's like they've hired a bunch of, a bunch of demons over there. All these little kids that are brain damaged aren't funny. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to shut up. Abe in Ohio, go ahead. Hi, Alex. How's it going? Nice, man. I tell you. If you're not angry. Yeah, I, I know how you feel. It's like the quote Barry Goldwater here. Extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. Um, but uh, I'm calling from Athens, Ohio. And I've been on a couple times before. And we're battling uh, city council trying to get... Uh, the toxic substance, uh, hexafluorosilic acid, more commonly known, labeled fluoride out of our water here. And we're being hit at every front. Uh, there's about a group of 10 of us that go every uh, every other Monday to city council and speak during the citizen output. And after this last one, they have threatened to uh, amend the city council rules to uh, limit uh, the amount or just flat out get rid of uh, citizen health speak because we're coming there and controlling half the meeting is us basically saying we don't want it. But besides that, we're, even if they do shut us down. And think about it. Then you have these scumbags laughing at you when you've got almost every scientist just in, in the FDA and EPA saying it's massively increased cancer, get it out. I mean, it's a fact. It's deadly poison, and under that name, they add hundreds of other chemicals. Uh, we've got our kids are brain damaged. They're murdering us. They're a, you tell them, stop assaulting me, scumbag, filth, maggot. I totally agree, Alex, and that's what we're doing. We got Dr. Paul Conn. He's agreed to come to Athens uh, to give a forum and debate the Ohio EPA uh, if we can get it on the ballot. And we're 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 only a few signatures away from getting it on the ballot. And it's uh, we're we're doing good. And I'm uh, it's caused me to get upset and run against uh, now good. the city council president who's running for treasurer in our county. I'm running against him now. And good. And listen, when they laugh at you. You tell them, listen here, scum, don't you laugh at me while you're brain damaging kids, aiding and abetting this, you little piece of trash. Their little giggle thing where they make fun of us, we don't need to go, oh, don't call me. We need to say, shut up, scum. You treat me with respect as a citizen, you filthy piece of trash. Totally agree, Alex. That's the way it should be. We need to get upset about this. But uh, just on my last thing, and I'll, uh, I'll let you get some other callers. I'm running against uh, this uh, city council president, and he's been railing against us. Uh, and I'm running as a treasurer for a libertarian, as a libertarian. And my, uh, I know you didn't say I really couldn't do this, but I need all the financial stability I can to pipe this uh, Democrat. I know. Here's the thing. I want to support all you guys. It's okay if people throw a website out. It just, it's just always then, every, we don't screen the calls, so every call will be, I did this, I did that. It's, everybody should get behind everybody locally. You should meet everybody wherever you are in the country and fight this tyranny, 110%. We're going to come back and go to TJ before we go to our guest, because I've said I'm going to TJ. And then we'll continue with uh, Richard and um, Sam and uh, Peter and everybody else. We'll get to everybody. And, and again, we've got to do the long haul. We've got to be healthy. We've got to be in shape fighting this. We can't let it get to us too much, like I do sometimes. But it's a balance. You can't then be so comfortable with it, you don't get angry and take action. Because, look, I've seen the Austin City Council, top scientists come in to tell them, you know, major university professors to tell them they're putting poison in the water, and the mayor gets up and walks off laughing. You know what? It's not funny, punk. It's not funny, punk. You see all the cancer exploding? It's not funny, punk. You understand me? All right, for much of this hour, we're going to be looking at a war against independence, a war against self-sufficiency, a war against farming and ranching and gardening and lemonade stands, garage sales for that matter. I mean, the system admits it's happening. 
This is a film well worth the watch. That's what the Washington Post said. Part consumer rights advocacy, part abuse of power expose. That's the New York Times. Uh, Farmageddon, the unseen war on American family farms. An eye-popping wake-up call, the L.A. Times. We're going to be talking to the director of the film here in a moment and to one of the uh, victims uh, of the system. And this film is available discounted at Infowars.com. And your purchase supports us and then also the filmmakers. And you get free bumper stickers and a citizen rule book with every order at Infowars.com. Farmageddon available right now. We have it in stock to ship it directly out to you. And hopefully you can show it to people in your area and wake them up to what's happening and give it to local farmers in your area so they understand the predatory major corporations lobbying government to shut down their competition. The Food Safety Act last year, they gave almost, was it 17 million? I said 15, that's wrong. 17 million in one week, a record to try to pass that bill to where you can't even can strawberries yourself. I mean, just, just total police state. And you're like, oh, that'll never happen. Oh yeah, it's worse than that. We're going to go to them here in just a moment. All over the country, they're killing people's pigs, saying they're feral. They're, they're not letting people sell milk to their neighbors or cheese or, or cabbages. I mean, it's just they're raiding uh, whole food companies with guns drawn. I mean, it's bizarre. Again, where's Obama the hippie? They're not hippies. That's their cover. Folks, this, I mean, look, look what he's doing with the marijuana dispensaries. I mean, it's, it's about total control. That's coming up in just a moment. Uh, but I promise to get to more calls today. So I'm going to finish up with TJ in Georgia, a WJOC 1490 AM listener. TJ, you're on the air. Welcome. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, Alex, uh, thanks so much for what you do. I, I don't know how you carry the cross, but even us little soldiers are, are fighting a pretty good fight for you. And I collect all your DVDs. I got 105. And the one thing I wanted to ask you, after looking at all these DVDs and handing them out like Coca-Cola, you know, you say using their system against them, and Jim Tucker says good works are done in the sunshine, but do we, as fighters of this good fight, do we have people, a secret society of our own, people, you know, good knights and paladins with a noble heart who you know, believe in this fight, but are trying to do use their system against them as far as, let's use a little secrecy, too. We don't have to always be in the open. Do we have anything going like that? You know, I obviously don't mention the name of a secret group, but are we fighting behind the scenes as well, do you think? Well, of course, secrecy is in organizations where you have to have secrecy, government, corporations. There are groups of people that love freedom throughout the system. That's the reason we still have part of the republic. That's the reason people are waking up. That's the reason... Uh, you know, that a lot of us are able to do what we do. Uh, but, you know, we have the truth, so secrecy is a disadvantage to us when we're out in the open. But, you know, if somebody's going to spray paint the front of a building, uh, you know, a government building or something, they better keep that secret. I'm not saying they should do that. You know, the environmental fakes who are, who are blocking real environmental issues we have are saying burn down people that don't want to pay Al Gore carbon taxes. You know, Forbes says burn down somebody's house. Mark down our names, burn our houses down. And I'm like, hey, you got hundreds of cross-species crops being planted that are causing mutations in every species that eat them. You've got serious other environmental issues. I don't want to have a global tax, you know, for carbon dioxide. And they're like, we'll burn your house down. I mean, that's in the news today. Uh, so you ask the question, I can barely organize what I'm doing here. Uh, and, and secret organizations... They can then infiltrate people to create secret criminal plots to then set you up in them. So my, my beacon, my North Star is total transparency and openness. Other than my journalistic hat, people say, now this is in confidence, and it happens all the time, and I'm known for not blowing confidence with people. And let me tell you, that word has gone out in the, in the system, in media, in government, that A, in business, I don't cheat people. I always do what I say I'm going to do. B, um, I don't tell my sources, and so I'm known as somebody who. So, so I guess there. I guess I'm a journalist. That's a secret system. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah, I think so. And, and one quick point: Do you believe, just like Saddam Hussein jumped down a spider hole and Hitler killed himself, if if we corner these roaches with with the light of the sunshine and fighting the fight like you and all of us are doing? 
What do you think these people will do when we finally get them cornered? Just bite into a cyanide capsule like the cowards they are? Yes, there is a uh, good chance that's exactly what will happen. But, I mean, again, it's a corrupt system. Society itself has been corrupt. We empower evil when, 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 when we do evil things, when we compromise, when we do bad things. And it doesn't mean we're ever going to be perfect. But, again, it's little things that are going to turn things around. Alex, God bless you, and thanks for the time. We appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, uh, Kristen Canty is a director and producer and has made Farmageddon that is just stunningly well done. I mean, I, I put it in the DVD player and could not quit watching it. And I think it dovetails with the Agenda 21 uh, book that we have at Infowars.com, Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21, Rosa Corey. People don't understand why they're attacking lemonade stands, why they're attacking Amish, why they're attacking little whole food stores with guns drawn over cabbages or, or uh, you know, dates. It's the idea of you know, shutting down swap meets, shutting down small markets, shutting down anything that the people can use to survive in this imploded economy. The globalists are engineering a depression because they want to break our will and make us dependent. They don't want us in a depression to become self-sufficient again. So that's what the rural councils are. That's what all these systems are. And, and, and it's there to make sure big agri can take over. As the UN has said, food is a weapon. Uh, so going to uh, Kristen, the uh, director, and we also uh, are joined by one of the victims, and I'll let her introduce uh, Linda and tell you her story. Uh, Kristen, thank you so much for coming on with us, and great job with Farmageddon. Great name, too. We may have lost her uh, lost her audio. We're going to try to bring her uh, back up whenever we get a chance. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to have, have them come up in a minute because of that difficulty. Okay, let's uh, continue with your phone calls then, since they're coming up. <laughs> you guys hear me like announcing them for 10 minutes? I tell you what, go to rebroadcast. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back live here today. And we do have our guests coming up at the bottom of the hour. I'll go to break and come back with more of your calls. I look at the news here and I look at autism going from one in 25,000 plus to one in 50 something now. The media is always reporting a two year old number. It was one in 80 something, then one in 60 something. I see the damaged children everywhere. I see the globalists making jokes about it. I know their plan, I know their program. I know Bill Gates is paying the media to say he's a superhero, actually say he's a superhero. Uh, I see men acting like children, women acting like dumb whores. I see this whole society as a Sodom and Gomorrah falling down on itself. And all I want to do is defeat these New World Order people. I mean, they're so out in the open, and they're coming for us. We've got to stop them. Hello, I'm out. All right, we have our guest coming up. I was looking at my sheet wrong, and nobody noticed I was announcing the, the wrong time for the guest to be on. They're coming up at the bottom of the hour. I'm not even so much having a bad day. I'm actually having a very focused day, and that's why I am I, I am trying to learn to not blow up because then it exhausts me. So instead, I blow up even worse and just get super irritated and super irritable, and, and, and I'm normally a very happy person. It's just, it's so confirmed that in all, a lot of these processed foods on purpose, it's full of heavy metals, Grignard reagents. It's killing people. It's horrible. It's a horror movie. And I want it to stop. And then a guy calls in and talks about his city council laughing at him when he goes and talks about taking fluoride out. And, all, and, I, and, I, mean, and I know what that means. I know. I've seen it myself. And I know that under the name fluoride, they put several hundred deadly chemicals in your water. And it's just, I'm mad at myself. I'm going to be honest with you. Because the real response to somebody assaulting your family like that is to physically go after them. But then I realize how the game's played. They're, they're set up for that, and I'll lose, and we'll lose if we don't. So 